Zion, aye, 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 aye. Are you? I am Bo Felicia. Obo Ako. William So Nyes. Onye Mepo. I'm from Imo State. Inquiry to local government. I reside in United States, California. I've been in that country for over 35 years. Manam Wumwa Fibu, I come most of the time. First generation, Gada US. And so many people have come behind me since that time. It's a living testimony. There is a reason why something that brought me here. This year, I buried two people, my younger sister and my mother. At one point, both of them were in the mortuary. I wasn't ready and prepared to bury them. I had to come back one by one and bury each one of them each time I stayed six weeks. However, God did it for me. Early this year, in as much as for the past five years, I have been sick. Accident upon accident. Fall upon fall. No hospital can find out what is wrong with me. I was in a wheelchair for two years. A walker, AJGJ, for another two years. For the past one and a half years, I have been on a cane. I came here with a cane. Anybody who knows me from any function, I cannot stand on my own without a cane. As I ambulate, I don't know when I will fall. The doctors needed surgery, bilateral knee, bilateral hips, spinal cord fusion with iron, and now they are looking into my eyes. After my mother's burial, and say so far, no more surgery. I will not do any more. January this year, I went into my house. That's the biggest testimony that I came for. Healing and the mercy of God. As soon as I walked into my compound, something happened to my legs, both of them. Within 15 minutes, Ukumaha Kankata. Fasting our chair. Ever since that January, I have been battling that problem. I have ordered prophets, I mean, uh, pastors everywhere. They stayed in my house three to four days. I took four pastors from Lagos, from all over, priests. They come and pray. They are not able to completely heal me. However, this year, come October, I left Nigeria October 20th after my mother's burial. Wherefore that nana I changed myself. I felt it. I smelled death. My face was swollen. My legs were swollen. My body was swollen. There is nowhere to go. MRI, X-ray ultrasound, nothing can tell me what's wrong with me. Where for one of my auntie, you see an audica, my time is here. I need to go find my God. Kanje Chobozo, before my time. Oh, watch Zion ministry. 
No one can get sent to the king. Watch it. Before you go to Bethlehem, wherever you want to go now that you're telling me. But well, when forward, they had the link. I watched it twice, two different times. Immediately, I begin to buy my ticket. As I try to buy my ticket, I find the cheapest price. Every time I put my name to pay for it with a credit card, it would jump from 1,800 to 5,000, as high as 7,000. I couldn't buy it. I was crying. Several times he did that. My son came and said, Mother, why are you crying? I said, I can't even buy a ticket. I want to go to Zion. Look at it. There is a prophet there. His name is Evangelist Chukwe Bukanos Yobi. I must see him. He's a living prophet, I said. I must see him. I must go to that ministry. And I begin to do fasting. As soon as I got my ticket, my son had to log in and pay for that ticket for me. And he stayed stable when he put my name on it. Equinsu did not rise the price again to stop me from coming. Then they dropped me at the airport. I came straight from the airport to this Zion ministry. And I knew that I couldn't possibly see our prophet. However, I came with faith because I saw and heard about the seraphic water, the seraphic oil, and the sand that the whole world have testified about. And I had faith that once I put my feet here, the swelling in my body, the cane that I have used for a year and a half, everything will disappear. And that is exactly what happened. <laughs> then I was lucky. I was lucky because I needed my soul and my spirit to be saved. And nobody can save that but a living prophet. And luckily for me, I found myself in his office, in his altar, when the whole world has come. And we struggled to find him. And he saw me. And I was shocked that I made it to his office. It is not by my power. It's the glory of God that brought me here that want to solve that problem for me. And our evangelist, Shukwe Bukobi, did just like that with the Holy Spirit that work here. I am grateful. For the first time in many years, I can wear high heel. I can dress up. Look at my leg. It's not swollen. It's not black. It's not black anymore. I couldn't walk without a cane. I have not fallen since I've been here two months now. I have gone to everywhere on be back without a cane. There is a living God in this ministry. And I will let the whole world know about it if it's the last thing I do. In Jesus' name, amen. Ikeja chacha mbono